We just cycled to the river, it's a big river, Ching Chinghua River, if that's the right pronunciation. And actually the river's the river's over there. And over here is one of the side canals. And we're just walking down the path, taking the dog for a walk. And you know, one of the great things about China is is the way they landscape everything and it's very delightful and well thought out so we're just going to have a little bit of a walk with the dog it's a bit cooler it's a bit cooler down here down by the river though it's humid and there's not a breath of air but it's just starting to rain which is quite nice because uh, you know it's quite cooling and uh, the river's uh, over there You'll get to see that later. But for the moment, we're just, dogs enjoying some freedom. She doesn't get much freedom in our community. We keep her on a lead, but we can come down here and the dog's quite safe, you know, because I've said before that Hangzhou is a bit of a unfriendly dog place. Oh look, there's a, there's a fishing bird down there. Oh, is that a heron? We've seen lots of, let's see if I can zoom in for you. What's that? That looks like uh, some sort of heron to me. I think my camera is really pixelating now, but yeah. We just saw two big white, um, forget the name of them now. I'll remember the name by the time I get to editing this film oh, yeah the bird was down there you can see I think maybe through there I can see it you can't so you know these places are a, a wildlife havens really there's another bit of wildlife passing and yeah, these places are wildlife havens really you see quite a lot uh, even though we're right in the the city well we're not really in the city here um, we're on the outskirts of the city but uh, I need to catch up with my wife yeah, so to get here we're in an area of Hangzhou called Sha Sha and uh, oh, come here dog dog people coming back on their bike And to get here, we, we came on our bike, but uh, hey. not one of the share bikes. Sure. No squirrels, snoops, unfortunately. Well, there are squirrels, we've seen them. But, um, we, we, got, we bought our own bikes. The first thing, thing we did when we got to Hangzhou, because it's so flat, is to buy our own bikes rather than the share bikes. I mean, there's a million share bikes, but we, we bought our own bikes just so that we have them and we know them and it's about two kilometers to get to the river so that's a nice little ride and then uh, we cycle about a kilometer down the river just to get here by all these trees so the dog can have her walk We have cycled on down the river um, 10 kilometers to the next big bridge, which is between the bridges was 10 kilometers. And uh, hopefully one day we'll, we'll do a bit more uh, when we don't bring the dog out, of course. Uh, the dog comes on, on a backpack. I've got a backpack, a dog carrier. You're all along this tributary, tributary or canal. It's probably a canal. It's probably man-made. You can see they're growing water plants. These will be for all the features around town that have, you know, water features, obviously. And oh look, there's another fishing bird over there. You see these fishing birds over here? Let's see if we can. And there's one of the white birds I was talking about. Uh, look at what it's called. 
Let's see if we can get closer to this. Yeah, I guess that's some sort of fishing bird. It's the same same type as we saw back. I'm not an ornithologist, so I can't really tell you what the bird is sitting there patiently. As you can see it's starting to rain a bit more now, but fishing must go on. And we got this field of these blue plants here. Very nice. Enjoying your walk, Snooky? With your ball? It's pretty much the uh, rainy season here in Hongzhou. It's been raining off and on for the last two or three weeks. Temperatures up in the 30s. Muggy, humid. These guys sit all day here all day trying to sell apartments. And then we come up here, up to the river. Tidy's out at the moment. Well, it was out when we started off. A bit further up that way, you can actually see the beach. The sea is that way. And uh, we're gonna continue walking down here for another kilometer or so. Enjoying the cooler air by the river. This river has a huge bore on it. Um, I think it's in September, the 15th of September. It has a massive bore wave uh, over a couple of days and people come from far and wide to come and see it. We haven't seen it yet, I'm hoping to see it, but September is in my um, in my teaching semester so it depends on what day it falls and whether I'm teaching or not whether we can get here to come and see the ball it's quite world famous actually um, I'll show you some notices if I if we come across any there are some notices yeah the cooler weather Luna 18th Ball Festival is coming again. On this day, the tide, largest ornamental best risk max. <laughs> About the security guancho, you know how much. So a bit of chinglish there, so. We'll continue walking. River's very flat today. But when it's bottom of the tide, you can actually see the riverbed on the edge there. A bit of beach up there. Drop the ball. Come here. Don't drop the ball. You're looking at the river, doggy dog? You want to go swimming? Huh? Yeah. My dog loves swimming. In Plymouth, UK, always went swimming nearly every day in the sea. But... Uh, we don't get to swim too much here in China, unfortunately. I think the last time she went swimming was in the Great Yangtze River in Hangzhou, but she's not going to swim in here today. But we are getting wet because the rain started up again. So should we uh, continue down the road a little bit? Yeah, so we're heading back home now. We normally out a bit longer, but uh, Issa says that her phone app says it's going to storm shortly. So I thought I'd been hearing a, a, a bit of rumble in the sky, but maybe not. I don't know. But we're going to walk back along the riverbank now. And uh, this place gets really busy uh, later on. It's only uh, it's quarter past five now. 
a lot of people will be leaving work and they'll come out here and they'll bring their dogs and it will get busier as people start leaving work and using this as a rat run to get home uh, so there'll be more uh, bikes like that silent deadly electric bikes I mean we've seen motorbikes speeding along here cars even so uh, you have to keep your wits about you but people do like to come here for the fresh air we've got a nice breeze blowing in our faces at the moment Snooky, come here don't stand in the middle of the road. Snooky, come here. Snooky, come here. Dog's got no road sense. Okay, so we're... The rain's starting to come harder now. Our bikes are right up there. But, like I said, it's been about 33 today. Hot and humid. No sun, though. And this heavier rain is, uh, I suppose, cooling us down. It does make it feel cooler, so it's a bit more comfortable. But yeah, of course, the downside is you get wet. <laughs> but hey ho, that's what happens when you believe your phone apps. My app said it wasn't gonna rain. Issa's app said it wasn't gonna rain, and then now her app is saying we're gonna have a storm. So she wants to get home. She's not a great fan of thunder and lightning. Well, I'm not when I'm out on a steel bike either, so. We're hurrying back to get back to our bikes. Keep on jogging. Jog, 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 even in the rain. Uh, walking backwards is also said to have beneficial effects in China. I don't know what they are, but uh, you see lots of people doing it, sort of walking backwards, so, I guess it's probably some um, Chinese, uh, what do they call it, Ch Chinese medicine, so, yeah, so here we have people sheltering under a shelter, with uh, no roof. People sheltering under a shelter with no roof. So now I'm going to do, uh, I just asked my wife about walking backwards and she doesn't know what the benefits are. So let's have a go. Okay. Now I'm walking backwards. It just feels uh, like I'm going to fall in a big hole and break a leg rather than be healthy. But uh, yeah. Walking backwards. The only thing that comes to mind uh, when you're walking backwards is the, uh, is the, is the, watch the bike, she says, is the, um, the old goon song or Spike Milligan song. I'm walking backwards for Christmas. Maybe I'll pay a little bit of it now. I'm walking I backwards the, for uh, Christmas royalty. across the Irish Sea. Oh, that's enough before I break a leg. So we're just coming up on our bikes now. Looks like there's like a market setting up along here. You know Xi Jinping has said people can start selling off the side of the street so maybe this is what's happening along here. We haven't been down here for a while so that's a possibility. Here are our bikes. So this set of bikes here. Here we can see the beach. Uh, the, the, I, I hadn't really seen the tide down this low before. So. We're just on the bike now. On the way home, it stopped raining.
here we've got a lot of guys uh, fishing. They were all down on the beach earlier. Hardcore guys still down on the beach down there. And these guys all up here fishing. Never actually seen anybody catch anything, to be honest. Yeah, there was a, there was a good dozen, a dozen guys down there last night. But uh, this is where we leave. We're going to go down there and onwards to home. So I'm going to say goodbye, and uh, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye, and don't forget to subscribe, bell, and like, please. Thank you very much, and uh, I'm going now. Ooh, before I fall off my bike. Oh look, some pictures of the boar. Let me show you. So here we have some pictures of this famous boar. Yeah. Some people did get have been washed away. I think the defence is uh, people are a bit more a bit more pr protected now, and they keep them way back. But yeah, so yeah, so again, subscribe, like, and bang that bell. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.